Good day guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, I should apologize for the first video I had a bit of a headache while I was recording but I think I feel better now. So let's move on. If this is your first time of coming to my channel, of joining my channel, please do not forget to hit the like button especially if you find the video helpful and also do not forget to subscribe and recommend to people. Thank you very much. So in the last video, we discussed about the tool and the installation, which we have done. The tools are the Cy Cypress preprocessor made by Bitball, now made by Bitball. It was made by the Brain family before. That was when we just had the Cypress to combat preprocessor. But now Bitball has taken over and we would also need the Webpack preprocessor. Then at the same time, we need Cypress, of course, then the fill command as we've been using in all our videos to create more commands. So as far as configuration goes, what we need on our side here is um, to add the spec pattern. We should add the spec pattern. It should be suggesting for us. Why is it not suggesting? Um, on the spec pattern part, we should have um, the the um, configuration that we usually have this um, on um, this dot feature so this would help us include feature files in our tests all right to test that this spec pattern works, if we create a Gherkin feature file now, let's call it um, test dot feature dot feature, and we hit enter. If we open our Cypress runner, let's try again. What's that? Because we touched it, as you can see, test dot feature is there, so it accepts that spec pattern from us. But that's not the only thing that we would need. We would also need to remember that uh, when we use um, um when we use the uh, older version of Cypress, we add we add the plugin folder. But there is no plugin folder anymore because everything you need to do in the plugin folder will be done under the the under the config dot cypress cypress dot config dot js file. It will be done under here, cypress.config.js file. So, having said that, we best get to work and um, use the configuration that is needed. So, the configuration that is needed can be gotten from the same documentation here from Bitball. You pick, you click uh, on, um, where is it? You click on a quick start, you click on docs. When you click on, click on doc, click on quick start then from quick start you see that you see an example of browserify es build yes the name i wanted to remember the other time was es build so we can um, put this here or we can go back not check examples uh, we can check the docs configuration and see all that it is all that is needed right so as far as that is concerned we can add this additional configuration to our json file our um our package.json file if we so wish and um or we could just go ahead and add the configuration that is needed in the plugin file because without with this it is uh, without it uh, it won't stop it from working and we'll test that in a minute so we could also check the examples that are available. We could check from the docs and check examples that are available, especially the one for Webpack. So the one for Webpack JS is here, and then um, we can uh, pick the cypress.config, and you can see the uh, the you can see the configuration made for. Um, for cucumber preprocessor to run so let me quickly just run through this let me copy it let me copy it 
let me copy and uh, paste in our code then we would explain it there so it will make more sense so what did i do oops i think i copied the oh god i copied something not needed so i'm going to copy again and um, we go here and paste so let's quickly explain this so because we need the web fabric preprocessor to unbundle our gherkin plugin so we have to import it and we also need the preprocessor to be able to write the web the gherkin syntax so here the the on configuration is like an event listener it listens to event and the event it's going to listen to here is the fabric pre preprocessor but what we now added is we added an object with some property. We added the webpack object, which had some properties to first of all resolve any file extension that has a TS, that's a TypeScript or a JS extension. Then it has it now has a module. This module is supposed to give us two things: a test and a use under the rules. And this is it. So here it is telling it's basically saying that any test that ends with a typescript with the node modules excluded it should use a loader called ts loader to unbundle it to unbundle that particular file so it can be used so this is a getting syntax here that says any file that has an extension that's the representation in in, in regex it's a regex syntax pardon me this is a regex syntax that says that any file in the, in in dot ts that if it is if it's a typescript extension it should be resolved and unloaded by this loader but we are not using anything ts so we can remove this since we are not using anything ts and we are using of course we are using feature file so anything feature file the loader that should load it is this which is fine by us and the next thing is we don't need this comment so we can remove this and of course we have everything else now for us we are going to use support folder because we'll be writing some commands into the support folder so at this point what we'll do is we'll put the path of our uh, e to e file because support file works from there remember i have talked about the folder structures on and how it is actually and how it, uh, it is actually implemented in the, in the cypress um, view so support file will make more sense to those who has who have watched the previous video because in the previous version the index file in the support folder is really important because cypress webpack just checks everything inside first it's all the information inside it would let it know that yes do i have some commands to be able to run if i have commands to run how do i run them and how do i access them it gets all of those things in the uh, index.js but the index.js now has been, re has been replaced by e to e.js so we'll copy this part and we'll put it here because it is not false we need a support file at some point so now that we have done this configuration we can now continue to put our base url our base url oh now is auto suggesting for us so we can put our base url which would be um this that's it this is our base url here and we can also put all other configurations that we would want before, like the view, viewport height and width. The viewport height remains this, and then the viewport width would be one. Yeah, this dimension is okay. So with this, and uh, you can also still decide to change our default command timeout or anything that we so wish to change we have this 
and this should help us run our um, tests. So um, before we proceed, we should also add them um, since we want to create a test feature file. We um, let's um, let's create let's rename this let's rename this to our stand to standard. Yes, because we want to uh, repeat the tests that we have done here before. So in this case, I will be doing very small videos. I will be doing very small videos so i feel that uh, because we've done a lot about bdds we've done a lot about reusing files and everything and the only thing that is actually different in cypress 10 is the configuration which we have already done so which you have already done. so in the next video i will just do um uh, i will do a simple step on feature files using the standard user and in another video, I would um, do a scenario outline and that would be all. I uh, think I should just merge this um, this playlist with um, the, the previous playlist, the, the Cypress BDD playlist. So though um, in the previous, so which means that if you've seen the first six videos of um, the Cypress 10, you just have additional three or more videos to go by because we've um, done the same thing. The only thing that is different, like I said, is um, the, the configuration which you have um, just talked about. And so in the next video, I will do an example of a standard feature file. And I'll also do a scenario outline for all the other four files that we've done before. So I'll probably just copy it. So in the next video, I'll do a step I will create a step okay maybe in this in the other videos now i will just do the standard feature and i will start it from scratch i will start the step implementation from scratch but the step process i will just copy and paste it from um, the previous repository on github so i will copy and i'll paste that then we'll work on it we'll do the step definition together using the uh, support folder and um in the video after that, we will do that of um, scenario outline using the shortest method possible to write your test cases. Thank you once again for watching and do not forget to hit the like button and also the subscribe button and do not forget to share with friends. Thank you and bye bye.